for period number three is ready to go. And the puck is dropped, and we are underway here in the third. Kucherov. And he takes the dish. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. have been active all night in the offensive zone and they lead it here in this third. Points won the faceoff and now let's see what they can do. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. Up by one and you take a penalty applying some pressure to the PK unit here as a power play as an opportunity to get the equalizer. The Bolts send their men advantage unit out once more. Power play can be a real tone setter. This one, blah, just about average, James. Good part is, you know what? It's never 100%, but right now is what matters. Moves the puck. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Shot! Oh, Wow. Well, that's a true competitor save, just when you think... And he rings the post! Radish has got to be so frustrated, James. He's hit the bar a number of times tonight, just when he thinks it's going to go in. Here's the medal. Turns that one away. Here's a shot, and that's deflected off someone in front. Here we go. They've really ratcheted up the intensity here now in the Ozone. More than half the period left to play. It's all tied up. Battle along the boards. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. The Leafs move the puck in the defensive zone. Quick shot! Stones him in front. Great reach with the poke check by Fortier. Tries to get it over to Gonsalves. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads-up play there. Toronto's gained possession. That's moved up ahead. Shot! And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. The Bolts have it now. Quick feed to Fortier. Off a stick and they can't connect. Along the half wall with the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Timmins. Here's an offensive chance. Timmons is hauled down. The official's arm is up. Here comes the sentence. Who had the edge? Carlin's standing by with the answer. Matthews has played well, even getting in on the offense. Both players have, actually. But I've enjoyed watching him more tonight. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, 13 minutes. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Tampa Bay is going to start with the puck in their own end. Here's a chance to clear the defensive zone. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. Fires it on net. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow. The goaltender's at the last line of defense for a reason, and this time, he bails his team out. Stopped by the goaltender. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high-danger scoring chances eventually go in. Kucherov side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Tampa Bay's won the faceoff deep in their own end. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Puts it on net. Here's a shot. Glove save. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. And he puts that one aside with ease. Trying to get it out of their own end. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. The Leafs played along the wing. 
Tampa Bay is going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. And some good footwork to kick it away. Taves is about to get out of the box. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. From the open ice, they gain the line. Penalty expires, and when you look at where things sit right now, that's a huge, huge score. And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now it's about building off of that. Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now is on the line. Toronto's on their way to victory if they can hold down this lead through the rest of the third. Well, it's all about game management, but they can't just sit back and hold on. Otherwise, their opponent, they will look to attack and they will take advantage. Put them back on their heels. Be in the offensive zone where they can't get an opportunity to attack you. Tease him off. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by on the felt. I love the way that he battles and competes for this puck, James. I mean, he loses it for a second, then he finds it and he makes a save. Here in the late goings of the period, the Leafs are looking to build on this one goal lead. Beautiful block shot by the defender. And now it's grabbed by Fleury. Hortier's got it against the boards. Oh, tremendous save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a start. Fleury's got it in the defensive end. From center, they get into the attacking area. Moves it quickly over to Fortier. Tries to get it to Kucherov. And he slides it quickly to point. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Quick pass over to Matthews. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. A critical draw here. Points won the draw inside his own end. The Bolts will play it from the defensive zone. Knocked off the puck. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Point. The Bolts are in a tight game. They've got to start making good on all those interceptions where they've been in great spots and finding ways to get the puck. Doing a great job defensively, but they've got to convert. Tampa Bay's got the puck against the boards. Trying to shake the defender. All alone. Oh, what a save. The Bolts gain control of the puck. Picked up along the wall by Chernak. The Bolts cross the blue line and are on the attack. Slides it to Timmins. Tries to make that cross ice speed. Now a quick pass to Timmins. Situation critical as we approach the final minute of the third. The Lightning have taken control of the puck. Moves it for Kucherov. Takes the feed. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attackers out. They need a goal here big time. Scores into the empty net, and that should probably wrap this one up. Yeah, well, it'll seal the deal, James. The insurance marker, and a lot of fun as well. Goal scoring is fun. Doesn't matter how it goes in, even if it is an empty net. Well, that's a strong effort all the way around. Stingy defensively at the end of the game, and they're able to get that empty netter. And it's the dying minutes here, James. It should seal the deal. Toronto's tenacity on full display after that empty netter. Yeah, and they earned the empty net, right, James? They got themselves yep. a lead. They were urgent all game, and they just capitalized at the right time. Stops them with a glove. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Toronto's been the better team offensively tonight. A lot of scoring chances, and they lead it late in this third period. The Bulls come up with the defensive zone draw. They go on the attack through center. Here's a shot. Makes a save. Net is empty. The extra attacker is now out on the ice. Matthews carries the puck in his own zone. A chance to end into the empty net. They score. 
tough one to take. You have the extra attacker on the ice. One miscue goes 200 feet and is in the back of the net. On the dying moments of the game, they get the empty netter, James, and that's just a, a result of having urgency, making sure they protect the middle of the ice, and hey, they get it down the ice and get the empty netter to boot. That's all she wrote from this one tonight. Tampa Bay's empty net approach seemed to backfire tonight as they just tried to get a little too aggressive and it cost them. Well, backfire it did, James. I don't like it. After that first goal, you put your tender back in. Why? That's just negative energy for the losing team.